Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is packed with one of the most powerful camera systems available on a smartphone today. Whether you're capturing stunning photos or shooting high-quality videos, this phone delivers impressive results. But despite its capabilities, it doesn't feature Samsung's most advanced camera hardware. You might wonder, why hasn't Samsung equipped the Galaxy S25 Ultra with its cutting-edge 200-megapixel ISOCELL HP9 telephoto sensor? This sensor is available for other smartphone manufacturers, so why not use it in their own flagship device? Well, Samsung hasn't officially explained its decision, but industry insiders and analysts have their own theories. According to well-known tipster at Universes, the choice comes down to sales numbers and competition, or rather, the lack of it. Even though some smartphone brands use the ISOCELL HP9 in their premium devices, these models don't achieve significant sales figures. In fact, when combined, the total sales of these high-end competitors still don't match the Galaxy S Ultra series. The tipster suggests that these rival brands treat their ISOCELL HP9 equipped phones as muscle-showing products. They are main models meant for mass production or profitability. Instead, they act more as marketing tools designed to grab attention and showcase innovation rather than drive large-scale sales. Essentially, these phones are part tech demo, part limited run product, aimed at generating media buzz rather than competing directly with Samsung's Ultra Series. On the other hand, Samsung dominates the global smartphone market with its Ultra Series. The company doesn't see a strong reason to chase after niche strategies that don't guarantee global success. Instead, Samsung prioritizes factors that have consistently worked in its favor, streamlined design, premium aesthetics, and overall user experience. Another major reason behind Samsung's decision is its design philosophy. While other brands may push the limits of camera technology, it often compromise on form factor. High-end camera phones from some Android competitors tend to have massive, bulky camera housings. The ISOCELL HB9 in particular is a thick sensor that would require a larger module, affecting the sleek and refined look of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Samsung has spent years refining its design language, ensuring its flagship devices are not only powerful, but also elegant and user-friendly. It doesn't want to disrupt this balance just to prove it can match its competitors in camera hardware, especially when those competitors aren't selling in large numbers. Interestingly, Samsung does experiment with technology in limited ways. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, for example, was a move in this direction, a premium product with a more restricted market reach. The upcoming Galaxy S25 Edge could be another such experiment. However, for its mainstream Ultra lineup, Samsung sticks to a proven formula that prioritizes usability and aesthetics over extreme hardware upgrades. So will Samsung ever change its strategy? Unlikely, unless a major shift in the smartphone industry forces it to rethink its approach. For now, Samsung remains focused on what it does best, creating flagship devices that balance cutting-edge performance with sleek, refined designs. Ad-driven features, enhanced user experiences, and long-term software support are key priorities for the company. And looking at the sales numbers, this strategy seems to be working just fine.